heart. Elizabeth, just yes. take a deep breath. Okay. Because you just seem, you seem a little stressed. You know what makes me not happy? Is what? hearing that I hear real stress. Relax, relax. <laughs> you know when someone says calm down? Yeah. Do you know ah! when it has the opposite effect? Uh, in today's Be Well TCL, we are talking <gasps> stress. It's part of life, and if managed well, it can actually be a good thing. Our next guest is here with some tools to help us all calm down in a nice way. We're not yes. saying this in an annoying way. We're happy to welcome back life and business strategist Yasna Borza to Twin Cities Live. Hi. Nice to have Hi, you nice here. To be with you. Okay, you started by making us take a quiz last week, a stress yes. quiz that everyone can take. Tell us about this. Mm -hmm. So it was done by Berkeley, so it's really a reliable resource, and they put in some of the questions that can really help us determine how well do we handle stress. So this is not about, are you stressed out? Everyone is a little bit stressed out, and right. stress is good for us, we'll talk about that, but how well do we really manage that stress? So both of you took the test, or so Steve says he did. <laughs> Steve lied on the test. <laughs> <laughs> no Maybe. way. Because my, <laughs> my wife would certainly grade the yes. test very differently. Reveals, on one, yeah. uh, reveal Steve's mm. score. So it's a really scale. Everyone can take it on, uh, it's on uh, TwinCitiesLive.com. Right. <laughs> and um, it, there, it, the scale is from 1 to 48. And I scored 4. So I think you scored I 4 scored as well. I scored a 4, yes. So I got Steve's results and there were 0, which indicated zero. absolutely whatsoever no stress. <laughs> So, which propelled us to think whether he has taken the test or not. <laughs> I took it, but you know, I may have, maybe I graded myself a little bit, a little bit easier than I, I should have. I said next to you, there is no way that you said zero on the stress. Can, can you give folks like an example of what some of these questions might, might look like? Yeah, so do you really get really um, stressed out over very small things? Do you, are your, is your mouth dry often? My mouth is always dry. <laughs> oh, I know. My mouth so is it's, always you know, dry. do you get really, you know, um, impatient in, a, in an elevator or something like that. And so. it can change at different times in your life, right? So yes. like this asks you to think about it as the last week or the last couple of weeks. Yes. Not just, okay, have I ever felt myself that way? Mm -hmm. It's a way to kind of gauge where are you because stress mm -hmm. can change any time. And any given time, yes. Okay, safe to assume everybody is has some level of stress. Except for you. Most of you do. <laughs> uh, but let's talk about ways that we can all ease our stress. Uh, part of it has to do with writing it out. What's the power in writing it out? This is really exciting. And this is something that every single one of us can do right now. And we will. Oh, and we should. We do. I'm okay. all about practicality. Let's, let's really make some use of it. Yeah. Right. So research shows that, that if we are in the middle of the stress and we can't get to a yoga class or get a massage, right. yeah. If you write whatever is on your mind four days in a row about, you know, just whatever is happening, research finds that three months later you're much happier, your immune system is better, and you would see Dr. Less. So by writing it out, just by writing it out, and do it a few days in a row. So just four days in a row. Days. And what I'm supposed to write about just how things are going. Today? So an example, uh, something that's weighing me down right now. Go. Oh man. Uh. Minor. We need a timer. Cold. <laughs> this is what's weighing me down. I'm like okay. battling this little snivelly annoying cold. A minor for a cold. Week. I'm excited. Yes. Well, you well, you you are sounding really good. This Elizabeth. is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am heavier than I have ever been. What's weighing me down is my gut, and that is real. Two o two. New personal record. That's a bummer. We, we had a fun chat before the show yeah. about that. Yeah, okay, so sure how is this helping us? Are we looking mm -hmm. at this and just going, okay, we just got it out a little it's bit? It's a brain dump. Everyone has uh. at least phone with them. And uh, from what I hear, everyone brings their phone into the bathroom these days. Yeah. So everyone New has comment. a minute. <laughs> To just write to down. Just write. There is something powerful that happens. It's like our brain uh, categorizes things differently when you write it. Because yeah. when you don't write it somewhere, then your brain is like constantly reminding you about it and sort of it nagging is. you. So what it does if it, versus being a bystander, it feels like we're taking control. Okay, this is not happening to me. It feels like we're really, we have more control over what's going on. We're becoming an active participant in our own story. Okay, I love this writing idea. What about breathing? Breathing is something you say can really help us reduce the Huge. stress. Take a deep Huge. breath. But a lot of us, including our executive producer, Mandy Toddick, please pay attention to this part. She's one of the worst breathers I've part. ever seen functioning at a high level. You <laughs> are, she's not breathing correctly. How do we need to breathe? I need to experience that 
breeding. Mandy, come on. <laughs> we have to, everyone, let's, let's, <laughs> let's do this. So it's, and yes, show we, us the right We oh, have to. So here's the thing. Yeah. Oh, we, all, we all breed, right? Yeah. So, uh, of course, I hope we do. Yes. But what happens is that shallow breeding, when we're running, when we're exercising, it's really shallow. It means it's really we're anxious. So it diaphragmatic. Diaphragmatic breeding. Di so what that really means is the kind of breeding we use in a yoga class or meditation. Yeah. Right? Okay. That's it. And infants actually breed diaphragmatic uh, right. breeding. If yeah, you, you notice, see their bellies go up and down. Yeah, bellies you're, go up instead of chest going yeah, up. So you already rise. know it. So, you, so you've well, done your us. homework. Let's so let's here it is. So all you're doing is you're inhaling. You're inhaling into your chest and into the belly. So take a deep breath in. So Lord, keep your shoulders down. Mandy, I, told I you. know. <laughs> and then you hold belly it out. for just You'll a second it. on the top and then a deep exhale. Both of you, all three of you. So take another deep breath in. So as you're feeling chest and belly both rise yep. and decompress. And what that does brings more oxygen into the body. Okay, go sit and practice. Yeah, practice. I love you. you need to go practice. We love you, <laughs> And it really activates the parasympathetic part of our brain, which is responsible for sleep and relaxation. Should we do this in stressful moments or should we do, be doing this as maintenance? As maintenance and in stressful mo okay. moments. It's particularly effective when we're really worked up. So before the show, that's exactly what I'm doing. Right? Because I have yeah. stress, but it's a good stress. Uh, quickly explain to help us all believe that stress, some level, is actually a good thing. How? It actually really is. So we all have stress right now. It makes us be alert. What that means is the huh. higher level of cortisol we're on, we're ready to go, is that fight or flight response. The problem arises really when we don't take control of it, when it goes on for a very long time. Yes. So there's this uh, yerkeson dotson curve that really shows that when we have no stress in our bodies, we're really understimulated, we're bored, there's not much happening. To perform optimally in life and in work, we need a little bit, that healthy dose of um, stress, um, alertness. I like the word alertness better. The problem is when we're exhausted and too much. We'll of link it. up to that on the website so you can study the curve. We also and have take a, a link test? to the stress quiz. Yes, and yes. Yasna's website that features more ways to help manage your stress on TwinCitiesLive.com. Nice to see you. Likewise. Thank you. All right, we're going to wrap